Did you know I've been following a whole foods plant-based diet for almost 60 years already? It started when my overweight and sickly father started reading the books written by Herbert Shelton. Dr. Shelton was the father of what was then called natural hygiene. Shelton's works birthed a movement of the early adopters of whole food plant-based diets without processed foods, salt, and oils back in the early 1900s, continuing the work of the earlier pioneers, Dr. Graham and Jennings, in the 1800s. I read all of Shelton's books and attended conventions where all the doctors embracing this lifestyle spoke and taught their message of health excellence. So 70 years ago, there were a collection of doctors using plant-based nutritional excellence to reverse disease and enable people to live a longer and better life. This birthed my passion for nutrition and my career as a doctor. And what also happened was my practice as a family physician enabled me to serve the elderly members of this vegan community and witness the long-term effects from early adopters of healthful vegan diets that sought me out. My experience and connection to these doctors who were older than me enabled me to witness their health deterioration as they aged over the ensuing decades. What was concerning was that many of them developed neurologic illnesses as they aged, predominantly Parkinson's disease and dementia. They didn't have heart attacks and strokes and cancers. Shelton, though, was crippled by Parkinson's by the time he was 77. I saw three other leaders of this movement also develop Parkinson's and others who developed dementia as they lived into their 90s. They were all taking vitamin B12, but not DHA and EPA. I made sure I drew blood work on these elderly vegans. The commonality of these otherwise long-lived healthy vegans with neurologic issues was very low levels of their omega-3 index that measures DHA and EPA on cell membranes. These fatty acids are critical for later life brain health. I remember one leader in the organic natural food movement who developed Parkinson's whose omega-3 index was almost zero. Of course, since then, we have many studies documenting that a low omega-3 index can cause brain atrophy, neurologic and cognitive impairment, and also predispose the brain to damage from environmental toxins and pesticides. This is not a new issue for me. For several decades, I've been advocating vegans follow their omega-3 index to assure adequacy of these important nutrients in their tissues. In fact, a very recent study just compared the increased risk of early life death from a low omega-3 index to smoking cigarettes as both resulted in about five years of life lost. My point is that if you're going to eat so healthfully, you might as well consider all the potential issues that could develop as you age especially when you can prevent them with a simple DHA EPA supplement. This evidence is supported by clinical trials that show over 60% of vegans have unfavorable omega-3 index and about 30% can be dangerously low. The EPA DHA product that I sell, I developed after noting indigestion and a foul taste from other supplements on the market. I had multiple brands tested and found the longer they remained at room temperature, the higher the rancidity scores. And most brands tested had high rancidity scores. We solved this issue by having a supplement manufactured and packed in dark glass and shipped to us in refrigerated trucks and stored in refrigerators. I'm passionate about making sure you have the opportunity to live the longest life possible and to maintain excellent brain health as you do so. My experience has alerted me to this as a point of concern for vegans, and certainly no one should be so misinformed to think that their diet is healthy and then find it causes them to develop dementia or Parkinson's. My entire philosophy of healthcare is that we can control our health destiny and make the right choices to have a healthy long life free of these illnesses. Yes, take a dropper of this clean and fresh DHA EPA each day, and then every five years or so, check your omega-3 index to make sure your level's above five.